Hey there everybody and welcome back. This is going to be a really quick video where I'm going to walk you through how to try to get a good deal on a platform like eBay. So I have recently won a bid for this. You'll see up here if I scroll to the top shows you won this auction. So I'm really going to walk through how I won this device, a couple of tips and tricks to not only help you get a device like this for yourself, maybe even a better deal, but how to avoid potentially getting scammed on eBay. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. Now, first things first, don't get sucked into purchasing a device that you know nothing about. The main reason for this is if you don't read the seller's description, then you could end up purchasing a computer that may not be ideal for you. So going through a couple of examples, I'll walk through how to get your filters set up on eBay. But my first tip or trick is going to be making sure that you're reading everything. Here's an example. This device here may look like a decent setup. You're seeing, okay, well, we have an RTX 2060 Ryzen 7 processor. Okay, it looks like a decent setup. Let's jump straight in and look to purchase it. If you are intimidated by the timer, you need to find a different device. The main reason for this, you never know what could be wrong with the device if you don't read the description. So when we scroll down, you'll see we don't have much of a description here. You do get some basics on the device itself. You'll see it needs RAM and storage. So if we were going to say that we wanted, let's just say 16 to 32 gigs of RAM, you're looking anywhere from, let's just say, 30 to $150 for the RAM alone, depending on what type of gaming performance you're looking at. And then for the solid state drive, you can basically add in another $100 plus, again, depending on what you're looking to purchase. So if you were to purchase this computer at this price here, get it, plug it in, and find out, oh, it doesn't have a hard drive, well, then you have to tack on an additional 200 to 300 bucks, depending on, again, if you want a solid gaming rig or not. Second, just scrolling through the pictures, you see what appears to be a Windows screen. Now they're showing specs and that it's functional, but in this particular case, it would be really easy to miss the description and then purchase something that doesn't have all of the parts. Now, there's nothing wrong with the seller. They're being transparent, which is great. It's just basically to mention, you need to do your research on the product. Don't jump into and speed buy something just because the price appears to be right. So for me, part of the reason that I purchased this device here was I wanted a gaming computer, something that I could modify and upgrade, and I didn't really know much about it, but I, I made the mistake of making some assumptions. So down here you'll see bought as an individual uh, or individual pieces for kids. Basically they don't use it. So what I'm seeing here is at the very least I can get my money back by parting this out. What I'm seeing in this gaming setup is an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X. So it's not a brand new super high-end processor but definitely something that's going to be capable of gaming. Then we have two monitors. Again, they don't look like they're incredible top of the line. I can't really tell based on the pictures, but at the very least I can part them out. You do get some speakers, a mouse, and a keyboard. Now what sticks out to me with this device, firstly, is it's an NZXT. I didn't know much about them, but you'll see we have two 8 gig sticks of RAM with RGB colors, so I think it's a relatively newer device. We do have a clear glass wall on the side. It looks like it's on a table, so it's relatively well taken care of. It's not like on the floor where all the dust is getting sucked into it. And lastly, it looks like it has a water cooler set up, which is very impressive for something in this price range. So if I go over to the NZXT website, I'll see that most of their gaming computers have an RTX 3050 or higher. Now, the trick is I don't see many in the lower end range that have a Ryzen 7. So I am probably looking at something based on what I'm seeing here that's a couple years old, which is fine with me. I'll see what I can do with it. But overall, it seems like a pretty decent device for the price. And after uh, basically shipping and taxes, I was looking at just over $500. So here are some tips and tricks for you. When you go to eBay, first and foremost, make use of the filters. I filter by auction. I filter by buying format. So it's auction only, and then I go to time ending soonest. If you need a specific processor, you can select that here. Bear in mind, the more specific you get, you could rule out specific auctions because people didn't fill it out right. So if eBay sellers are going on and they're in a rush to get their item posted, they may not put all of the details out there. So if you're looking for something that has a specific processor, then I would recommend if you have the time, just leave it open. You're going to get a bunch of things. For example, I don't want a Raspberry Pi 4, but 
I'm really just going to look through because it doesn't take that long. So as you're scrolling through, first things first, make sure you're doing research. Find the actual device on the manufacturer's website. Make sure all the parts are included. So when I'm looking at computers like this one, for example, I'm seeing that the uh, you can get a general idea because it has a glass window of what parts are where and about how much they cost. So a couple of concerns for me is when this is on, I'm not seeing any fans or anything sticking out of this front window or pane here. It looks like it's solid and I don't see a clearly visible graphics card. That looks like something there, but I, I can't see or tell what it is. So I'm hoping they didn't take the processor or the GPU out. Um, but basically you'll see that it looks like they're throwing in everything. It says barely used, so it may just be a lower end GPU. We'll see when we get it in. Check the link in the description and I'll go over that. But basically just wanted to show you, I looked through online. This is something that's going to be easily upgradable. So make sure all the parts are there and then make sure above all else that when you're purchasing this, that if the seller does not accept returns, that it is covered by eBay's money back guarantee. You don't want to buy something and then find out you didn't get what you were expecting and then all of a sudden you're out for however much money you were spending. So the biggest tips and tricks that I have, first and foremost, make sure you have a buyback guarantee. Second, make sure you do your research on the product. And then lastly, don't go above what you're expecting. I have a video link in the description where I lost a bidding war and just wanted to show you I went well above what I was expecting to pay. So good reason that I lost, but it just shows you it's easy to get swept up in the moment. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.